The iPhone 11 Pro Max is, well, fast. So can Sony's latest flagship, the Xperia 1 Mark II, compete against it in a speed test? The Sony comes paired with Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 865 processing chip, run on 7 nanometer plus technology. We also have 8 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM. While the iPhone comes paired with 4 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM and that wonderful A13 Bionic chip made by Apple, which is indeed also run on 7 nanometer plus technology. Here are the hardware specs. Feel free to hit pause for more information. We have updated softwares on both devices to stable builds and we have kept enabled all animations on the Xperia because there is no way of completely disabling them on the iPhone. Round 1 will be all about boot, fingerprint and face unlock. Round 2 will be all about initial opening of app speed and round 3 will be all about RAM management. I'm going to be using my fingers here so to keep things accurate we're going to pop GoPro footage to the bottom left hand corner. Guys this is Technic and without further ado let's go! We're going to start here with a boot to see which one can turn on the phone slightly faster in round 1. 13 seconds for the Xperia as opposed to 25 seconds for the 11 Pro Max, getting the Sony its first point in round 1. Now we're going to go ahead and go into the actual phone itself to see which one can refresh the icons quicker. That indeed goes to the 11 Pro Max, getting it its first point in round 1 here. Now we're going to test out the Face ID 3D Face Unlock on the iPhone as opposed to the physical fingerprint sensor on the side of the Xperia. The iPhone was quicker the first time, it was pretty much even Stevens the second time round, and the iPhone was faster the third time. So two wins for the iPhone and one draw getting it at second and final points in round one. Starting with round two over here, we're going to make sure that the brightness is up. We're on the same Wi-Fi network over here and make sure that all the apps are closed in the background, which they indeed are. We're going to start with the camera app. All apps are closed, as I mentioned before, and going into it, the iPhone 11 Pro Max opens up the camera app slightly quicker. Flipping to the selfie, however, the Xperia gets its first point there in round one and taking the snap over here, the iPhone takes a little bit quicker, but the Sony saves it to gallery slightly faster, so neither of them got allocated a point there. Going into the Photos app, we are using Google Photos. Pretty much all system apps on the Xperia are indeed Google run since this is such a stock Android phone. So it was very neck and neck there and opening up the photo, the Xperia 1 Mark II grabbed that point. Going into Calculator, it was too close to call. If it's too close to call, I don't allocate a point. And if obviously one opens it up quicker in an obvious way, then I do indeed allocate a point there. Going into the phone app over here, once again, still system apps, the iPhone 11 Pro Max opens it up slightly faster. Last system app that we have over here is indeed settings. So we're going to go jump into that one and once again the 11 Pro Max is faster now making it 3 for 3 in round 2. And the first app that is not a system app is indeed an internet speed test here called Speed Check. We're not going to check download and upload speeds over here but more so how long it takes to do the test. Going into the actual app though the Xperia 1 Mark 2 grabbed its fourth point there. 22 seconds on the Xperia after running the test. I have sped it up at the bottom right hand corner if you missed that as opposed to 28 seconds on the 11 Pro Max now getting the Sony its fifth point in round 2. Now two points ahead of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Next app that we have here is indeed Spotify. We're going to go ahead and jump into that right now and see which one can do it faster and the Xperia once again gets another point now doubling points to that of the 11 Pro Max with three points as opposed to the six on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. First heavy app here is Photoshop Express and going into it the 11 Pro Max opens the app up slightly quicker but going into the actual photo the Sony once again grabs that point now still three points ahead of that of the 11 Pro Max with seven points. I'm going to go ahead and export the photo over here UFS 3 storage on the Xperia, NVMe on the iPhone and the Xperia grabs it, it said save to gallery at the bottom quicker, then it said save to gallery at the top of the iPhone faster over there. Going into Premiere Rush and Adobe program once more. Going into it, the Xperia 1 Mark II opens up the app faster and now we're actually quite a lot faster over here. We're going to jump into the project over here which is indeed a 4K 25 frames per second project and the 11 Pro Max grabs that point over there. Now just 4 points we are in with 5 points here. We're going to take this 4K clip and compress it down to 1080p, match the frame rate of 25 frames per second and hit export. I haven't sped it up now because I just want to show you guys how quick the iPhone can export clips like this with NVMe storage. So nothing is sped up as you can see at the bottom right hand corner literally takes the iPhone pretty much seven seconds to get through as opposed to the UFS 3 storage on the Xperia which does it in 20 seconds I did speed it up over there so 13 seconds slower on the Xperia going into Astral VPN the iPhone was quicker and they turned them on at a very similar time over there the iPhone had a little bit of a loading thing happening in the middle of the screen there so it was very close to call there going into our first social media app we actually need a VPN in order to open these kinds of apps up the Xperia opens up Facebook slightly quicker now going into double digits with 10 points as opposed to six on the iPhone. Going into Instagram over here, once again, the Xperia opens that one up quicker, now 11 points, once again, four points ahead of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Next app is Twitter over here, and once again, the Sony opens it up quite a lot quicker once more, now with 12 points, five points ahead of the 11 Pro Max's seven points over there. Next app 
that we have on the cart here is indeed YouTube. A little bit longer to load and once again the Xperia opens it up quicker. Now six points ahead, almost double that of the 11 Pro Max. We're going to go into my channel profile over here and yes the iPhone loads it quick and the Xperia loads it quick but they both loaded different things at different times. Going into a video though the Xperia plays the video quicker but the iPhone loaded the entire page quicker. So once again no point was allocated. There's still six points of a lead with the Xperia 1 Mark 2 as opposed to the 11 Pro Max's seven points. We have 13 on the Xperia. Next up here is indeed Netflix and the animation on the iPhone kicks it in the butt where the Xperia grabs the point there. Now double points there and going into my profile it was too close to call. So still double points with the Xperia on 14 points as opposed to 7 on the 11 Pro Max. Going into Google Chrome it goes more than double with 15 points on the Xperia as opposed to 7 once more on the 11 Pro Max. The first game of 4 over here we have Subway Surfers and the 11 Pro Max absolutely slays the Xperia by opening it up quite a lot faster getting its 8th points. Now not so much double points anymore. Next game that we have is indeed Flip Diving. Not so long to load this one over here and going into it the Xperia 1 Mark II opens it up slightly faster than the iPhone. Once again double points 16 as opposed to 8 on the iPhone. Next game that we have here a little bit longer to load than the previous two is indeed Temple Run 2. So I've sped it up at the bottom right hand corner, slowed it back down and just a few seconds quicker the Xperia 1 Mark II grabs its 17th point. Last game that we have on the cards over here, last game in the row of the last app tray here is indeed PUBG Mobile. A lot longer to load than the previous apps and games that we've been opening. I've sped it up bottom right hand corner. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II gets its 18th point there with 18 seconds opening up PUBG as opposed to 25 seconds for the 11 Pro Max. Much faster over there. Round 3 RAM management over here. Remember we have double the RAM on the Xperia with 8 gigs as opposed to 4 gigs on the iPhone. It kept photos open where the iPhone killed it. The rest of the system apps pretty much stayed open on both devices. Going into the internet speed check over there. The Sony got its second point. The Spotify was similar over there were pretty much the same. Same with Photoshop, same with Rush, same with the VPN and going into Facebook, they both kept it open once more. Going into Instagram, same thing can be said. Twitter, once again the same. Going into YouTube, however, it kept it on my profile on the Sony, getting it its third points over there and it went to the YouTube home page on the 11 Pro Max, meaning it killed it. Same thing with Netflix here, so getting the Sony its fourth point there. And the same thing can be said with Chrome as well as Subway Surfers now on six points and then Flip Diving, seven points once more. Strange thing, the iPhone keeps open Temple Run as well as PUBG Mobile, so neither point was allocated to either device. Their total score 26 for the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II as opposed to 10 for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Sony absolutely destroyed iPhone this time around. If we just look at raw speed, which is indeed just about round two over there, 18 points for the Xperia as opposed to eight on the 11 Pro Max, meaning the Xperia is 10 points quicker than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic, and I'll see you in the next one.